Psalms chapter 83 <clears throat> a song or psalm of Asaph you can probably call this the United Nations of Psalms and it's the same story back then as the same story today that nations are against Israel Satan hates Israel the Jews from Abraham to the birth the life and the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ Satan has tried to destroy the work the birth and all that Jesus done the mothers of, of said families of Abraham Isaac Jacob and Judah and all that you see barrenness Satan did not want those children to be born to bring the Lord Jesus Christ you find in Matthew 1 today God uh, Satan is against the Jews to perform the fact that the prophecy still concerning Jesus Christ if he can destroy them Jews you can throw the Bible in the garbage you know that one of the prophecies of God is that the Jews will always be and it says keep not thou silence O God that doesn't mean that God is not talking but God is silent upon the nation of Israel hold not thy peace and be not still O God God's not talking to him. God's not answering and you saw that happen in the time of Eli was with, with Samuel he said there was no word of God. In Judges, there was no, there was no God, and every man did that was right in his own eyes. Israel today, really, as a nation, does not have a God, does not have a king, does not have a place to worship. For lo, thy enemies make atonement, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. Hey, look at us, we're doing good. You Jews that proclaim to be one God of all, look at what you guys, and look at us. And that's a rotten testimony that when a Christian does wrong, that God has to uh, pull the rod out. While he's beating us, while he's, while he's judging us, while our life, you know, and they over there, <laughs> look at that. And God will use the rod upon us. But God will not apply the rod to the enemies because they're not his children. God, Listen, it's wrong to smack someone else's child. God is not going to, going to uh, correct or use the rod or chastisement upon Satan's children. They're not his. And we already know that Satan will not correct his own children they have taken crafty counsel against thy people the Jews and have consulted against thy hidden ones the enemy is getting over the Jews and the Jews are crying out God help us look what they're doing and again over for the last three or four chapters is God is not the God that oh, I'm just gonna beat you and just because I, I like it no that's Satan the Jews are sinning they are rebelling against God and this is why they're getting changed and God is not going to do anything till they repent there are Jews today that are going to die that have died in this church age period that went to hell because they rebelled and disobeyed God they have said come and let us cut let us cut them off from being a nation. The United Nation and everybody that's in the Middle East right now. Listen, if you go over to some of those Middle East nations and walk into their history school and they got a map on the wall, you will not see Israel, I have been told by missionaries over there. Israel is not even on their map and Israel is not even recognized. You know, even the newspapers... This one nation launches 500 missiles into Israel. Israel counterattacks with one missile. The missile hits the ground and sharp no hits a hits a kid in the cheek on a school bus. And whoa, those mean nasty Jews, they hurt a little boy. We should have UN sanctions against Israel, and that's been the news from day one.
they do not want to recognize, even though God does, Israel as a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's what they're trying to do. That's what Satan's trying to do. He's trying to destroy Israel. Again, if he could, and he's not going to, then he would ruin the whole Bible, ruin all prophecy. And he's going to go at it during Jacob's trouble. Boy, is he going to try to ruin and rid the world of Jews. But there's going to be a raiment down south in Salem Peach of Revelation chapter 12. And you know who comes out in the end? The winner? The Jews. And Satan goes in the lake of fire. God gets rid of Satan, but he doesn't get rid of the Jews. Did you know, that, has your pastor told you that, uh, how can I say it? There's a second coming of David. Do you know that David's going to sit in Jerusalem with Jesus Christ as the prince? Do you know what the scriptures say about that? Now, if God, I mean, if Satan can get rid of Satan, uh, if Satan can get rid of the Jews, then there would be no, and you throw Ezekiel out, but you don't. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. There is the verse on 2014, the United Nations and New York City. And if you were to take each of the delegates one by one into a secret room and say, we're not going to say who you are, what you are, but let me just tally. Are you for Israel or against Israel? All I'm going to do is put a tally mark. I'm wondering what the tally marks would be for Israel and then against Israel in the end. And if I know the Bible, and if I know Satan, and if I know Scripture, I would say that, that the United Nations tally would be more against Israel than for. And our presidents, the United States, are part of it. They, they, they would rather Americans have oil of Saudi Arabia then the fellowship of God the Father with the Jew. For, for Genesis 12 says, I will curse them that curse thee, and I will bless them that bless thee. That as a Gentile, the only way you're going to come out of the tribulation period and go into millennium, it's not if you counterfeit the mark, or if you get through the tribulation period without receiving the mark. Those movies are lies. The only way that Jesus said that how your conduct is to that Jew. If you help the Jew out, food, visitation, medical needs, and all that, then you'll go into millennium. You'll be considered as a sheep nation. If you reject that Jew, you do everything against that Jew, you'll be a goat nation. You'll be cast into, the, into hell. Matthew 24, 25. I forget which one. You know, even as a born-again Christian, your conduct, what God look upon you as a relation for the Jew? If you have somebody at work who is an Israelite, who is Jew, of Jacob, and all that, and you mistreat him, God will meet, mistreat you even if that Jew is saved and you're a born-again Christian? You know what Paul says? He says, pray for the Jews. Pray for Jerusalem. Now, let's read the UN Association found in Psalms 83. You can go online and find the association of all the countries that are in the United Na Nations today, but you can go back in this time and look. Look, the Tabernacles of Ed Edom. Edom is, is angry with Israel. They are an enemy of Israel. And the Ishmaelites, hey, they're in the United Nations today, called Arabians. And they're against Israel. Of Moab, Moab. Moab was the one that had, uh, uh, he came from the incense relationship of Lot and his daughter. When drunk in one night. And the Hagarines, Gebal, Ammon. That's the other daughter of Lot that got her father drunk. Amalekai. That's the one that God told King Saul to get rid of, destroy 100%, and here they are 
in Psalms 83 and the list of ones against Israel. They're the ones that came up behind Israel as they were in, in the wilderness and attacked the rear end of, of uh, Israel, those that were weak and feeble. And that's the ones that when, when Moses sat there, they had to lift up his arms and there was victory to Joshua. When his arms fell down, there was victory to Amalekites. There they are against Israel. Had, Saul, had King Saul done his job, they wouldn't be there. The Philistines, they're the ones over there on the Mediterranean Sea. The PLO. The inhabitants of Tyre. Tyre is completely gone. Destroyed. Forgotten. Waste. Asher is also joined with them. They that hoping with the inhabitants of Tyre. No, wait a minute. Excuse me. Hoping with the children of Lot. Excuse me. I was trying to read with the note here. The note says they have been an arm to the children of Lot. So an aid. Help. Selah. And if you were looking at a map, you see all those cities right around Israel, just like today. All the, all the places around Israel, they're against them. Nothing's changed. That's Selah. Guess how many nations do you think is going to be against the Jew in the tribulation? Nothing's changed. The United Nations was back then here. The United Nations is here today. And the United Nations is going to be in the tribulation period. Now they that, let me just throw something out there. And you, you don't have to take this. You can throw it in a garbage can. This is my own thinking. But if there's a group of people that curse the Jew, such as the United Nations do, they don't want, listen, they can get rid of Israel. They do it in a, in a, in a hands proud. As a Christian nation, what are you doing having them on your on your soil? Can can you can you say God bless America when you got a, a group of nations on your soil that are against them? I'm gonna leave that up to your own thinking. I say no, but who am I? Do unto them, all these nations, as unto the Midianites. Number 31, Judges 7. As to Sisera, Exodus 6. Oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong. Hold on. All right, for the Midianites would be, again, Numbers 31, Judges 7. To Sisera, my eyes are not working right now, so please forgive me. I can't see these little I can't see these little letters here. I'm trying to give you the references and all right, help me here for a minute. Judges four and Judges five. As to Jabin at the brook Kaisan, which perished at Endor, they became as dung for the earth. You know what Jesus Christ is going to do to all these nations that rejected the Israelites? He's coming back angry. You know, he's a Jew. I don't, I don't care if you look at the pictures that America has of him. He's a brown, short Jew. And there's no desire that we should just love his picture. Make their nobles like Oreb. Judges 7. And like Z, that's that's not. I was going to say Joshua, but that's was it. Was that Gideon or that went in there and he destroyed them, and he taught them. He he went and got some thorns and and he tore down the tower. Yea, all the princes of Zeba, and as Zalmunna, Muna. Who said, let us take ourselves the houses of God in possession. Let's go in there and destroy Israel. Let's take their land. That's what Arafat wanted. That's what the United Nations. Yeah. Israel, move that wall over and give the land to them. All right, move that wall over some more and give more land to them. Slowly getting rid of the land. Listen, England did that. Here, have the land, but oh, we've got to give land to Jordan. And that's when it, that's when England began to be sunk. 
Oh my God. So OMG. You know these people cry, speak English. Why? You're not. OMG is not English. It's babble talking first grade kindergarten that I'm too lazy to type. That sis talk. You talk like a black person. Imagine white people talking like a black person. Oh my God. Get it right. King James Bible. I, they probably got a Bible in the market right now that says OMG. Would you buy it? Would you buy a Bible that said OMG? Why do you speak it? King James Bible believer. Would you read a Bible that says an O for her sister? Would you buy it? But you talk it and you type it. Make them like a wheel. As stubble before the wind, and that is when you plant, when you when you harvest the grain, you would take it and put it under the wheel, and that wheel would smash up all the 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 seed and the the husk. And then when you the stubble before the wind, you would take a pitchfork kind of thing, you would throw it up in the air, and the wind would blow the the blow the husk and the junk away, the leaves, and the seed would fall to the ground. You are completely breaking apart the wheat to get to the seed and that's what that thing is here break them apart throw them up in the air divide them from as the goat and as the sheep nations and those that blow away to hell with them and those that fall to the ground keep now I bet you probably some of that stubble was probably used to make fires and burn maybe to keep you warm or something as the fire burneth wood, and as the flame setteth the mountains on fire, utter total loss of a forest fire. So persecute them with thy temptest. In other words, go through there with a fire and don't leave anything standing. Completely wipe it out. And then when the rains come, it washes all the topsoil away. And make them afraid with thy storm. So see there's a fire. It burns all the trees and all the vegetation away. And then the storm and all that. And then there's mudslides and wash away. Fill their faces with shame. Why? For what they did to the Jew. That they may seek thy name, O Lord. Imagine when, when Jesus Christ comes. Are they going, it says he has a, a name, a vesture written upon him. Are they going to know who he is when he comes? Is the world going to know? You better believe it because they're, they're taking their idols and they're throwing them into the caves and they're hiding from him. They know exactly who he is. So will the Jews. Let them be confounded and troubled forever in hell. Read Luke 16. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish. How do you know that's hell? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not what? Perish. Nations will go to hell by their conduct and treatment of the Jew. That men may know that thou, is that one? Yes, I do mark my Bible. And I do make mistakes. Whose name alone is Jehovah. You know it's the most silliest thing that the outside of the United Nations there is actually scripture. They shall beat their plowshares as something like 
But over the United Nations that used to be here in Psalms 83, over the United Nations that is present today in New York City, and over the United Nations that will be under the Antichrist, over them will be the name Jehovah. As they bow down before Jesus Christ, who is a Jew, and proclaim that his name is above all names, And as Jesus casts them off into the lake of fire, art the most high over all the earth. You know, the United Nations now is preparing, has been preparing, setting up to make the, the laws and rules for the Antichrist over all the world. You know, there are laws that we have to follow in this country set by, by the United Nations, and they're just visitors here. But we have to obey some of their laws. They think they're the of of who of the of who. But wait till Jehovah takes over and shows them who's over all the earth. Again, Paul says, pray for Jerusalem. God is not finished with them. And a curse that was passed on from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob to the twelve tribes. They that curse you will be cursed, and they that bless you, God will bless. The Jews are the apple of God's eye right now, and in Jacob's trouble, they are they will be punished with a rod because of their disobedience to God. But they are still God's people. And there are people out there in probably Baptist churches that will teach that God is done and forsaken the Jew uh, found in Thessalonians, I believe it is. And there are some churches and some people out there will claim to finish, the, that the church gets all the blessings. The Roman Catholic Church does that. That's why they kill people. Because it says in the Old Testament, go in there and kill all the lands that are against you. That's why the Pope does that. That's why they've been doing that. Because they're taking the promises of the Jews and applying it to themselves. And that's wrong. Go in there and claim every promise that's in the Bible. You better not claim a promise. You better not claim, well, if you curse me, God will curse you. And if you bless me, that's not for you. Well, if I do good, I'll get the land. The land's not yours. That's not your promise. Don't name it and claim it. There are four classes of people. Number one, the Jew. Number two, the Christian, the born again believer, who has put his shed, who has put his his faith, his trust in the righteousness in the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is the Gentile who is not saved, is not the Jew, and number four, to all the world in one shot, saved, lost, Jew, Gentile. As we close. Oh Lord, my God. Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in That on the cross My burden gladly bearing He bled and died To take away my sin Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee How great thou art